Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Joe and I'm an independent cloud consultant based in Sydney, Australia. This is a video series which will help you prepare for your Azure AI Engineer Associate Certification. We will go through questions very similar to the exam and discuss in detail each and every options provided. Before we dive into the question, I would highly recommend a basic understanding of Azure AI services to understand what we are going to discuss. Now regarding me, I just watched one training to prepare for the exam and with the help of the training, I passed the exam in the very first attempt. Although you can follow any trainings, I would highly recommend this one. I'll provide the link of the about the training in the description box. So let's get into the video. Now to the format of the question. A requirement will be given and what all steps will you follow to achieve that requirement? There will be multiple steps provided and you have to select the ones in the correct order. Now to the question. You are building an application to identify defects in factory produced components that are unique to your business. To achieve this, you need to use the custom mission API for fault detection. Which three steps should you follow in order? Choose the options in the correct order. Now the options are train the classifier model, upload and tag images, initialize the training data set, train the object detection model, create a project. Now let us break down the question. What are the keywords? I have already highlighted the keywords present in the question. So one is identify defects in factory produced components. So we have to identify defects in the component. Now which service is mentioned here? It is the custom mission API and then we have to select three steps in the correct order to achieve that requirement. Now since it is a custom vision service that is mentioned, let us go through the Microsoft documentation of custom vision. What is custom vision? Azure AI custom vision is an image recognition service that lets you build, deploy and improve your own image identifier models. Custom vision allows you to specify your own labels and train custom model to detect them. So as the name suggests, it is a custom model. You have to train the model with your own images. Since the question says that these components are unique to your business, you have to train a custom model. That is why the service is custom vision because the components are unique to your business. Now let us get back into the documentation. Custom vision functionality can be divided into two features, image classification and object detection. So the aim of the question is whether you know the difference between image classification and object detection. Provided a scenario, which feature of the custom vision will you choose? Will you choose the image classification or object detection? That is what the aim of the question is to test your knowledge whether you know the difference between these two. So now let us learn the difference between these two functionalities. First is image classification. Image classification applies one or more labels to an entire image. So in short, image classification is to categorize images. I'll provide you with this scenario. I have two sets of images. One is that of apple and the other is that of orange. Now I tag these images and upload these images to the model and train the model. After training the model, it should be able to identify the nth image which I upload as an orange or an apple. It will be an entirely different image, the image which is not used to train the model. When I provide that model with that particular image, it will be able to categorize it into whether it is an orange or an apple. So that is what is classification is for, to classify or categorize an entire image into one category which we have trained. Now what is object detection? Object detection is similar but it returns the coordinates in the image where the applied labels are found. So there will be an image and there will be multiple objects present in that image. Now you have to provide the coordinates for those objects and train the model. It is okay to have one object in an image. That is fine. There may be multiple objects in the given image or a single object. Now you have to pinpoint those objects, provide the coordinates where those objects are present or where that object is present and train the model. Now after training, when we provide another image, if that image contains the object which the model is trained with, it will identify that object and will provide you with the coordinates of that object. Hey, I have detected this object from my training and that object object is present 
in these coordinates in the given image so it is not categorizing an image it is detecting an object present in the given image whether it is present or absent let us see in detail how can we train an object detection model so build an object detector with the custom vision website what are the steps to follow first we have to create a new project we have to name the project and we have to choose the type whether it is classification or object detection then we have to create the project and next step is choose the images training images not upload and tag these images so this is how we tag the image we provide the coordinates where that particular object is present we doesn't tag the entire image we just tag that particular object in the image in the case of object detection now train the detector model with these images so these are the steps to follow while creating an object detection model now let us get back into the question so our need is to identify defects in factory produced components our need is not to categorize these components into any group we need to identify the defects in those components so which feature should we use so is it a classifier model or should we use the object detection model so which model should we use by now it will be clear for you we have to use the object detection model because we have to detect defects in the component so it is an object detection model now which are the steps to follow that also we have seen first we have to create a project then what we have to do we have to upload and tag the images then the third and final step is train the object detection model so we have to create the project upload and tag images and train the object detection model so what did we learn from this video we learned about the difference between object detection and image classification and also we saw the steps to create a custom vision model